TLO, what's poppin'? Who's that? That's me. Uh, man, the OG subs know, man. That used to be the old intro, man. I don't know where I go live anymore. I'm at a, I'm at a cross world. Uh, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Um, literally, I was in my room. And, and I see KSI got a situation going on. He said a, 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 a word that people find racist. Now, me, me, I am not the race of people that find that offensive. But I cannot say that they shouldn't be offended by that. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm an American. I'm from Chicago. Heavy Pakistani culture. Heavy, heavy, got a lot of friends, homies, like I'm talking homies that I grew up with. And as an American, when I first started reacting to UK stuff, as an American, now this could just be an American thing. We were oblivious to certain things, honestly. In America, or as far as I, would, as far as I knew before I started reacting to UK content, I didn't know that was a racial slur. I, right hand to God, I did not know that was a racial slur. I know I never knew anybody that thought so, like, like felt found that offensive or any. I never knew it. We don't in America or at least in Chicago. That is not a thing. And I'm not saying I'm not being I'm not being not sensitive to the rest of the world. But I'm telling y'all my personal experiences. That I did not know that was that comment was I didn't know that word was found to be um, racist. Literally, I, I want to know the back history on it why why it's considered, but I never once has ever educated me on it. But literally, I I was thinking just like Philly was thinking, you know, when Chunk stopped him and was like, "No, don't say that. That's not a good word to say." My mindset as an American was like, we, we think it's just an abbreviation of the full country. You know what I'm saying? Or the, the full peoples. Like, we just thought, we think it's an abbreviation. We didn't know. I literally knew that. I didn't think there was no harm in the word until I started reacting to UK stuff. Um, I remember there was a song that came out. I was doing reactions to music and the artist said the word and then I was like, oh, and then I repeated it because it was a hard bar. But, you know, you got to think about it. I ain't never, ever was ever, ever in my life was put in a situation where I couldn't say a certain word. Like, I was like, huh? People, people in the comments told me, it was like, bro, I can't believe you just said that. I was like, what you mean? I, and then they explained to me that that word was thought to, is a racist word in the UK. And I was like, oh, man. I, I, I See, me, I'm just looking at it like I thought it was just an abbreviation to another word. That's, that's, that's literally what I thought. But KSI, my boy, you going through it right now, I see. You going through it, my boy. You done, you done went to a mosque. You doing damage control. Management has put out a, you know what I'm saying? You going crazy. I'm not going to play back the video that the vi originally it was showed in because I've seen it already. Um, I've seen it already. Uh, but I will play this one. Pat is a writer. I'm hoping that being out in the country is going to help me find my muse again. Like literally though, and, and Philly is from the UK, right? He's from somewhere else, but he been living in the UK for a very long time, and he didn't he didn't even know it sounds like. But you know, ever since y'all told me, I ain't never said the, that word again because you know I respect I respect it. It is what it is. I don't have to understand it, but I respect it. At the end of the day, and that's just how I'm coming. <laughs> but you know. Let's listen to this apology. And I think, me personally, y'all asking, is the apology genuine? Is it just, is it that? I think it's genuine. 
I honestly think bro probably didn't know. We, we, we don't know that type of stuff because we're normally the people that receive the slurs. We don't know, literally. And as an American, I definitely didn't know. That, that's just how it come off. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm being dead ass. I'm, this is the world's biggest do-rag. I've, this is the, the, and I'm not talking about dread-wise. I'm talking about forehead. All right. Hi. Um, morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> so, I, you know, I want to read a statement which I've written to make sure you know, I express myself as clearly and cover everything I want to say. Uh, first of all, like I, I like I, if I was in this situation, I wouldn't be making up no excuses. That 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 that, that right there, what I just said, that's dead ass. That is word to my mother. Like I never knew. I never knew. Like I have, like literally, like. Well, I want to address uh, a recent incident in a video whereby my actions. I have affected many, many people, especially. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. Like I told you, I respect it. And I respect every culture and every creed of people. So it don't matter to me how, what it, what I, what my previous thoughts on it was or what, what, what I didn't know. I won't ever say it again. <laughs> especially the in point. the South Asian community. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to offer my deepest and most sincere apologies for my words and actions. In a recent video, I used a racial term that is offensive to so, so many, especially in the Salvation community. There were no excuses for what I said, and I, I recognize I've caused a lot of hurt and disappointment to so many people, so many people that look up to me. And my ignorance no, this could have been the end. Ignorance has, has only reinforced the negative stereotypes that have existed for way too long in this country. Uh, I want to express, <clears throat> I want to express my heartfelt regret uh, for what I said. And I want you to know that I am generally ashamed and deeply sorry uh, for any pain or suffering uh, I have caused I, I realized that my words you know, have consequences. And you know, as a public figure, I have a responsibility to use my platform for good rather than perpetuating discrimination. And this week I have failed to do this. Privately, I have taken the time to engage in very you know, early conversations with some people from salvation communities Salvation um, community, and see, like salvation communities, like me, me, I don't know what that even is. I don't know what that is, and I will, I'm gonna go look it up because I need to know, right? And we'll continue to do so in the coming weeks and months ahead. I will continue to educate myself on the rich history and diverse cultures of South Asia. And oh, he said South Asian. Didn't no, he didn't. Ahead, need to do so. South Asian communities. He said South Asian. He's talking too fast. It sounded like one word. No, like I thought he said South Asian communities. I was like, what the hell is that? South Asian communities. Okay. Rich history and diverse cultures of South Asia and the struggles like there's a heavy South Asian community in Chicago like and I like I'm talking like I never knew this I never knew until I and I never knew until I knew you know what I'm faced by its people I'm committed to doing better uh, being a better ally and use my platform to uplift and uh, uplift uplift uh, marginalized uh, voices now I want to say again that yeah, you know, how truly, truly sorry I am for my actions. I know that you know it's going to take time and effort to really regain the trust and respect of those I've hurt, and I'm prepared to tirelessly work to make sure I make amends. And you know, I hope my sincere 
apology and commitment to educate myself will be a step towards healing and unity. And I fully understand that my actions uh, will speak louder than my words. So, yeah. I mean, me personally, do I think it was genuine? I do think it was genuine. And I do think he he made a he made a mistake. Now I'm not the biggest KSI fan when it comes to his music. It's just trash. But everything else he's done for the community is, you know, is good. But like me, like, I can I can honestly say that and almost I damn near can speak on a lot, like a lot of us. Like we I we genuinely don't know that that's offensive. And we can't blame ignorance. For a lack of, you know what I'm saying, lack of lack of sensitivity, you know what I'm saying, to the situation. Ignorance is not an excuse. But, like, as far as when I started to, when I personally set out and started reacting to UK stuff, it was an educational thing for me. I was learning a lot. And it was a part of an educational process, and I know now. But I guarantee you 95% of people in, in Chicago, uh, I'm, I only speak for Chicago, 95% of people in Chicago, when I say people, I mean people that are this color, do not know, did not know that. But once again, that doesn't mean anything. He hurt who he hurt. He's apologizing. He's going to work tirelessly. I mean, what else can he do? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let me know in the comments, man. I'm 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 genuinely curious, and I, I damn near go look at the history of it because I, I I still to this day really don't know the history of why. You know what I'm saying? But it never mattered to me because it is what it is. If it's offensive, it's offensive. Period. <laughs> Won't come out the mouth again. Like it's. That's it. Like, but but I'm curious to know is what I'm saying. TLO, I'm gone.